we come today to honor and to celebrate one of our precious, our precious jewels. We thank you, oh God, that you are going to bless this service and every participant in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for our leader. We thank you, God, for the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ worldwide, the Bishop J. Drew Sheard, and the flower that walks next to him, oh God, Dr. Karen Clark Sheard. We thank you today, God, for our leaders and the way you're going to bless on this day. And we give you honor and praise and glory, and we'll tell the world how wonderful you are by clapping our hands, by lifting our voices, and saying glory to the King of Kings. Glory to the Lord of Lords. Glory to the Lamb of God. We thank you and we praise you in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm Evangelist Tiffany Lewis, and you are in the hands of our ensemble. This is the day that the Lord has made and we, we must rejoice and be glad in it. Anybody come to give the Lord some praise? Everybody, come on. Everybody clap your hands. Come on. Put your hands together. Come on, let's have some church in here. Untold, got another day, got a whole lot to say. He's been good. How many know he's been good? Say it. Hey, he's been good. The Lord has been good. Come on, put those hands together. If you know he's been good to you, come on, everybody.
worked extremely hard and they want to show Sister Sheard, Evangelist Sheard some love. They have her favorite flower, Birds of Paradise, and they just want to present it to her. Come on, clap your hands for this committee. They worked so hard. These are the women of Greater Emmanuel and they want Sister Sheard to know Evangelist Sheer to know just how much, First Lady Sheer to know just how much we love her. These ladies have committed to serve with Evangelist Sheer, First Lady Sheer. And no matter what she says, no matter, no matter what the direction is that she's taking the women here at Greater Emmanuel, and we love her so very much. Can we clap our hands for the, the committee? <laughs> so
So at this time, we're going to have our welcome and purpose by evangelist Tiffany Lewis. And then uh, we're going to have uh, some video presentations. Can we say amen as she comes? Come on and put your hands together, Greater Emmanuel. Come on and put your hands together for our jewel. Our jewel. I said ours. Ours. We have the privilege of sharing First Lady with the world. But today, we want to honor her as the First Lady of Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ. And we are so thankful that Bishop has given us this space. God bless you, Bishop. Our pastor and our leader is here. Come on and clap your hands. He's allowed us to celebrate her on today. We usually do this earlier in the year. But well, we want to welcome all of you to celebrate with us today. We've got some special things planned for our First Lady today. If you know this woman of God, you may know very many things about her. You may have read about her. You may have heard about her throughout the years. But if you're a member of Greater Emmanuel, then you have had an experience with her. Amen? Bishop talked this morning about being with Jesus. And if you have been with Jesus, he said, you're, there ought to be some signs, some outcome. You ought to look like you've been with Jesus, right? And I just want to say that if you have been with First Lady, there's some things that you look like, right? There's some things that you may have done. If you've been with First Lady, you've probably been laughing because she likes to laugh. If you've been with First Lady, you probably played a game or two because she likes to have fun. Anybody play St. Peter, St. Paul? Do I got some St. Peter, St. Paul players around here? First Lady is good. She stays to the end. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. Not as good as some of us, but she's pretty good. <laughs> Amen. If you've been with First Lady, then you've probably been somewhere shopping. Amen. If you've been with her, you've been shopping. But if you all have been with her, as I have been with her, you've probably been somewhere praying. Amen. Because this woman of God loves to pray. And I am so grateful that we have the opportunity to celebrate her today because she prays for not just our leader, which is important for us to get the word that we need, but she also prays for each and every one of us. And for that, First Lady, we are here to celebrate you and say thank you. God bless you. We love you and enjoy your day. and Chief Apostle Bishop John Drew Shear, and Shepherd of this house. God bless you, beloved First Lady, Evangelist Karen Clark Shear, and happy Love Day. Congratulations, Greater Emmanuel, for the love and honor you will display on this day to our First Lady. Lady Shear, you are indeed the fragrance of our worldwide Church of God in Christ. The fragrance you exude is holiness, love, grace, compassion, sweetness, and much wisdom. The scripture that always resonates with me when I think of you is James 3.17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Lady Karen, enjoy this love day. You are so deserving. Your works praise you at the gates. Thank you, Greater Emmanuel, for including me. I love you all with the love of the Lord. God bless. Lady Karen, oh, you have the perfect title. You are the epitome of a lady. You've been like this a long time. I met you back in 1991 at Straight Gate. We were taping an album. Yeah, it was albums back then for Ron Winans and Friends. And I didn't know who the friends were going to be when I agreed to sing on the album. 
or when I saw BB, well, I knew he was singing. But when I saw Pastor Donnie and when I saw you and Evangelist Dorinda, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I thought he meant regular friends. Uh, <laughs> so I never did record that day, but you haven't changed. That's why I said that to say this. You're a wonderful wife. You're a wonderful mother, wonderful grandmother, wonderful first lady. I am honored to honor you. God bless you, and I love you so much. Blessings to our presiding bishop, Bishop J. Drew Sheard. On behalf of Mother Willie Mae Rivers, we would like to take this time to say thank you to Grady Emanuel for honoring our First Lady, Maddie's baby, Evangelist Karen Clark Sheard. Evangelist Karen Clark Sheard is what I would call quiet strength. A woman of prayer, a woman of power, a woman of ministry, a woman of love. Um, please know that Mother Rivers and her family love you. We appreciate you. And we're so glad that they've set aside this day to honor you as the First Lady. But you know what, Grady Emanuel? I know you all say she belonged to you all, but she belonged to all of us. And we thank God for her. Uh, Mommy said that she knew that if Dr. Clark was here, she would be elated to see where God is taking you and Bishop. Please know that you're in our prayers. We love you. Have a great day.
I just want to let you know that those videos uh, evangelist Karen Clark shared is somebody, in case you didn't know it. Those videos were uh, Mother Barbara McCoo Lewis, who is the general supervisor of women of the Church of God in Christ. And then we also had evangelist Pamela Hines. Uh, she is the wife of Bishop Daryl Hines. And then we had uh, Sister Angie Rivers, the daughter of the former general supervisor, uh, Mother Rivers. So can we say amen that they recognize our first lady? Certainly, we do thank the Lord that Sister Sheard, Evangelist Sheard, Mother Sheard, First Lady Sheard. <laughs> you know what? Before we go any further, I want to... Uh, I want us to recognize our bishop for his choice of evangelist Karen Clark Shear. Because without that choice, we wouldn't have this wonderful lady. Come on and give it to him. Give it to him. Didn't he make a good choice? Hasn't she been a phenomenal first lady? Not just a good one, but a phenomenal. Come on and clap those hands. So we have further reflections. Again, people, important people, love Sister Evangelist Karen Clark Sheard. And forgive me for saying Sister Sheard, but I've known her so long and loved her so long so as she's been elevated. So at this time, we're going to have a presentation from Mother Mary Jane Walton who is the third assistant general supervisor of the Department of Women for the Church of God in Christ. And then after her, Mother Olivia A. Williams will come with reflection. She's the jurisdictional supervisor of the Department of Women for Michigan North Central Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Can we say amen as they come?
bless you today. I give honor to the Lord. I have to give honor to our presiding bishop, my number one son, and my number one daughter. Lady Karen, I needed you this morning so badly. I got my cell phone to watch Grady Emanuel. I got up early to pray for Bishop Shea. He was preaching. I said, Lord, I didn't think he was going to preach this morning. I thought he was going to be resting a while and preaching 1130 service. I said, I got to get my daughter. We've got to find a way to make him rest a little bit more. But I'm so grateful for Great Emmanuel having this day. Mother Dorinda, thank you for letting me know this day was here today. And she said, Mother, your daughter's day is Sunday. And she said, I, I've been out of town. And I told him, I have to go home. I just no way I can stay out of town in my daughter's day. I love you so much. You and my son are so special and are so kind to me. You all make me want to live. I want to live that I could be at, I could be at a, another house's wife. First Lady, my son, the presiding bishop of the Church of God, he has the right wife walking by his side. If they have the wrong wife, they're in trouble. But my son has the right wife, praying woman. We can pray any devil away from his, his territory. We, we're not giving up no ground. We're praying. And guess what, Bishop? We got a cause worth fighting for. We love you so much. Lady Karen, one thing I like about you, you can't be a praying woman and a not a saved woman. She's saved and she's a praying woman. To walk by your husband with the kind of prayer life you have, he doesn't have to worry about anything. He can do Isaiah 41, fear thy not. For I'm with thee, neither be thou dismayed, for I'm, I am thy, and I'll help you. And uphold him with his right hand, and keep on praying for him, and we're going to see this is just the beginning of what God's going to do for you all. Love you. Thank you so much. Mother Dorinda, do it again. Let me know anything that's happened to my, my daughter and my son. I can always change my schedule to be with her. You're going to see me have to tip out, but I knew you was going to be first today because I wanted to be here, leave my love with you, let you. Mother Olivia, I'm so happy to see the supervisor here today. Oh, that made me happy. I can tell the supervisor, they ought to be at the first lady today. Any first lady like your first lady, I couldn't imagine you not being here. But thank you, and I love you, and God. Bishop, you made another good choice when you picked Mother Olivia William. You, made, you were definitely led of the Lord. I can truthfully say she cooperates with everything we ask her to do. I love you. Sometimes she said, Mother, you're taking me a little fast. I can't slow down because look who she's working with. Look who her first lady is. She has to go fast. God bless you, and I love you. And thank you, Ellen Nolan. Get, come and get me so I, I can get out of the way. <laughs> well, praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. God is a good God. God is good. He's better than good. And I was trying to get here. I left him plenty of time. But the road construction, and I said, well, Lord, we'll get there when... You get us there. And he brought us safely over the construction highways everywhere you look. 
But I give honor to my bishop. My bishop. My bishop. The presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ and chief apostle worldwide. I love you, Bishop Shear. You mean the world to me. You do. You mean the world to me. I don't have words to express, and I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but I love you. And that's a mighty sharp suit you have on. You sharp, you sharp, you sharp. Give our bishop a hand. And what can I say about this wonderful woman that we are celebrating, we are appreciating, and we are honoring? You look wonderful. You look like a dream. You are, and I thought about you yesterday on my way home, and I said, well, really, what can I say about her? And I had a lot of ideas, some kind of out of the box, but, but I thought about you, and I said, well, her eyes just exude love. You have beautiful eyes. You have capturing eyes. They're like liquid gold. You are beautiful. Your lips show happiness. Always a nice smile, even when you don't feel like it. You have a way of smiling that can just make the captain man lie down. From your neck to your waist, your movement is as butter. You are a wonderful first lady. And Bishop, you made the choice of a choice of a choice. And then from the waist down, and this is where I have to catch myself, but you move. Your movements are wonderful. They're soft. They're attention-getting. No one can look at you and just feel as though you're just another woman. God has showered favor on you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And you are the woman for my bishop. He couldn't have picked a better woman and you just grow in grace day by day by day. You are an example to all women, church or not. You are an example of finer womanhood. That's you, Lady Karen. You're hospitable, you're kind, you're loving, you're a prayer warrior. You pray not just for your husband, but for GEI and for everyone. Wherever there is a need, God has given you that gift of knowing when a need needs to be met. So you're the epitome of a first lady. You are an example of a good pastor's wife. And I love you. I love you. I don't have words to explain to you how much I love you. But I am so glad you're my first lady. And you just gorgeous. As they say, you look marvelous. That color just sets you apart. May you have many more love days because of all that you have given out. We can't give it all back to you, but we can show you that we appreciate you and everything that you do. So it is my prayer that God keep you healthy. Oh, your feet are even pretty. God blesses and orders the steps of a good woman. You're just beautiful. You really are. And I thank you for what you are in my life. I thank you for what you are in the lives of the women of the Church of God in Christ. We could not have a better first lady to represent us world 
why. I looked at you over in Brazil. You outshine every president's wife, senator's wife, congressman's wife. You stood there and you look like you were the first lady, if it was such, I think your son said it, of the United States of the Church of God in Christ. You look beautiful, and I thank you for representing us in such a marvelous way. So continue to be blessed, continue to be healthy, and continue to have the favor of God. Leading lady, evangelist, Karen Clark Shear. I am here on behalf of the Michigan Judiciary and the Association of Black Judges of Michigan, and on behalf of myself personally, your personal judge, Lenise Bryant. And we are here to say congratulations on this phenomenal day. We are so excited to celebrate you as you stand beside my leader, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, as you lift him up and as you soar to higher heights, as you have blessed the body of Christ and you have blessed the entertainment industry as a whole. We thank you for your contributions. We applaud you and we celebrate you. And now please receive a presentation on behalf of the Michigan legislature by Honorable Tanisha Yancey. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Thank you. Uh, but I would like to read this on uh, the Michigan House of Representatives' behalf. To Karen Clark Sheard, let it be known the Michigan House of Representatives recognizes, applauds, and thanks the esteemed Karen Clark Sheard on her efforts in the Detroit community. Anyone who knows Miss Clark Sheard knows that community, family, and music are the foundations of her life. Whether it is her efforts with her husband, Bishop J. Drew Sheard at the Greater Emanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan, where she serves as a loving first lady, or her delving deep into the music industry with her daughter, Kiara, who also sings, or her son, J. Drew Sheard II, who produces their vocal tracks. Family is always near. Whereas music and faith have always been a part of the Sheard family, Mrs. Sheard's mother, Maddie Moss Clark, formed Karen and her sisters into the renowned group, the Clark Sisters. The Clark Sisters brought soul and passion to the music industry that few have matched since. They left a legacy on the gospel music scene. This love for worship through music has led Karen down a life of service and leadership. Starting in 2014, Ms. Clark Sheard hosted the inaugural International Empowerment Summit for Women of Faith to prepare women in ministry. Over 1,500 women attended the event and were touched by Ms. Sheard, Clark Sheard's guiding light and inspiring presence. It is events such as these that remind us of her talents as a friend and leader as well as a singer. In special tribute, the Detroit Caucus recognizes and commends the great work done by Miss Clark Sheard and her family. This tribute shall belong to Miss Clark Sheard among her four Grammy nominations, TV depictions, and numerous other accolades as a reminder that the state of Michigan and her Detroit community will always recognize her for her compassion, leadership, 
and musical talents. May the power of prayer and worship flow through the Sheard family's vocal cords and ministry. Can we say amen? At this time, we have another video presentation. I'm Vanessa Winbush Gatlin, Second Assistant General Supervisor of the Church of God in Christ. I'm also the sister and friend of the First Lady of the Church of God in Christ, our fragrance, which exuberates all over our church, Lady Karen Clark Sheard. As the Greater Institutional Emmanuel Church of God in Christ honors our First Lady, you are one to be honored, one to be adored, and one to be lifted up for who you are. Yes, you are our encourager. When we just need someone to tell us, continue. You're doing a great work. Don't come down. Yes, this is your time for us to remind you that your smiles and your waves deep down resonate the love that you send through those moments. Yes, this is a time to encourage you because you've led the way through ups and downs, heartaches and pains, you've remained the same. God has elevated you, but you've never changed. Your spirit is still reeking with the power of God. And we've come today to say we love you. We appreciate you. We are praying daily for you. It is our prayer that God would bless you as wife, mother, grandmother, sister, friend, first lady, but most of all, that he'll bless you as Karen. And I say that with no disrespect, but I want you to understand that he knows your secret desires. And on this day of celebration, may he give you your heart's desire. I love you so much. And your future is brighter, much brighter than you today have seen. The best is yet to come. Enjoy your celebration from your sister, Vanessa. Love, hugs, and kisses.
Come on and give God worship. He's a good God. Come on and praise him. Lift those hands and worship God. God has been good to Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in the form of Evangelist Karen Clark Shear. Come on and worship God. <laughs> Wonderful Savior. Mighty God. Nobody like you, God. We have 
Bishop J. Drew Shear, Chief Apostle of the Church of God in Christ, and to the Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ family. I am Mother Yolanda Bryant, wife of General Board Member Bishop Prince E.W. Bryant Sr., and President of the Jurisdictional and Auxiliary Bishop's Wives Circle of the Church of God in Christ. Just a word of acknowledgement and congratulations to my First Lady and my sister, Lady Karen Clark Sheard, on your love day. Lady Sheard, I am proud to call you my first lady and my sister. You are an extraordinary example of humility, love, and faithfulness. May God bless and keep ever alive your devoted life of love, faith, and service. Love you always. Enjoy your special day. Hello. Lady Karen is Pearl over here. God bless you on today. I'm just stopping in and stopping by to say how much I love you and how much I appreciate you and just to share in this celebration on today, your love day. Listen, I often say that you can measure how much God loves you by the people that he seed into your life. And God must really, really love me to have seeded a Lady Karen Clark shared into my life. And I do not take it for granted. I cherish our relationships. I cherish the moments that we spend together. We've shared life stories and we've shared so much together. And I certainly appreciate it. And I want to say on today to the parishioners, God bless you and I commend you for taking out time to celebrate your first lady and to honor her and to just pour in on her today. Do all you can to bless this woman of God. And I want to say I want to, um, I, I wish and I, I pray that this day will be one of the greatest days that you've experienced since this event began. Thank you again for including me in this celebration, um, Evangelist Dorinda, and God bless you on today. Enjoy the celebration. Love you, Lady Karen. Amen. God is so good. Everybody loves our first lady. <laughs> I take ownership of evangelist Karen Clark Shear, don't you? All right. I just wanted to let you know that um, those wonderful words came from Lady Yolanda Bryant, the wife of general board member Bishop Prince Bryant, and then... Evangelist Tamala Mann is going to come. And in the future, she's not up there yet, but she's coming. <laughs> okay, at this time, we're going to have reflections. Our, these are members of Greater Emmanuel, and they're going to come in this order. Deacon and Mrs. Daryl Cobbs, Sister Claudette Dawn Marie Pointer, Brother Stacy Faulkner, and Sister Seren Serenity Trailer. Can we say amen as they come? Hello, everyone. Bishop, First Lady, we love you all. Bishop, we love you. And First Lady, we love you. you know, um, I, I joined Greater Emmanuel in 2013. And that was before COVID. You came down from the pulpit that I'm standing on here and said, welcome, and I love you. And you meant that. And this place has been a blessing 
to me ever since that day. And um, I just love the fact that I'm a member here. Um, the anointing on your lives flows to us. And so much that I found my first lady at this place, okay? And um, blessings upon blessings upon blessings come from the anointing that is on your life and Bishop's life and your leadership. We love you both. Um, Superintendent Adams, I'm going to steal this from you because you say it and it's true. We have the best first lady in the whole wide world. And that is so very true. That is so very true. And I'm going to say this one thing too. Um, she doesn't know this. A few years back, you opened your closet. You and Bishop for everybody to buy some stuff. And I bought her one of your fur coats. That's her favorite coat, <laughs> should I say. <laughs> So we love you. We love you. And thank you, First Lady. Thank you, First Lady. Thank you, Bishop. We love you both. Thank you both. We love you both. God is ahead of our lives, of course. <sighs> okay. Um, to our First Lady, if we look in the dictionary under First Lady, we should see your picture. You are the definition of grace, beauty, class, and elegance. You are a great woman of God. Your prayers and songs are filled with so much power. One of my favorite songs is You Brought the Sunshine. I loved that since I was a kid. I've been trying to find the original. I know you did a remix, but I like the original. <laughs> um, you are anointed from on high, which allows each and every one of us to be anointed from on high. Through, you, through our bishop, through, your, through, your, through yours and bishop's leadership, excuse me. Often when I tell people that I'm a member of Greater Emmanuel, they ask, is, does um, Karen Clark Shear goes here? And I, I say with astounding joy that, yes, she does. But don't come because it's Karen Clark Shear goes here. Come because of the word, the word will anoint you. Her singing does, but the word will anoint you. So I know when I first came, if I was invited to come. You guys were on Curtis. The first two or three times, I didn't even know Bishop was the, the well, then he was pastor. Because it was guest preachers when I came. So I never saw him the first three times. I didn't even know you guys were at the church. But the speakers were so great that I kept coming back. I'm like, one of these days, I'm going to hear Bishop. I'm going to hear the pastor. I'm going to finally heard him. Uh, and then you did uh, a thing where you invited all the ladies. And you gave us, a, I don't remember the name of it, but you gave out your phone number. And I said, this cannot be her phone number. This going to go to some service. This going to go to her secretary. I'm going to call right now and see. I know she's not going to answer because she's standing here, but I'm going to call right now because I know this is not her number. No, there's no way she's giving out her personal number to a bunch of women she don't know. I didn't call it yet to see if it was actually your number, though. <laughs> but I assume it was. Um, many a times I thought to call, but just too nervous to, I don't know why, just too nervous to talk to you. Um, one of these days, I'm going to see if that number is actually your number. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the same number. This has been years ago. Okay, this has been years ago, but that's my little funny story, but I love you. And I love going to this church. Yes, that's it. I don't know what else to say. Everybody, everybody said a lot. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate both of you. And we thank God for you. And just thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I honor the Lord on this afternoon, who is the head of my life. I give honor to my leaders, Bishop Shear, the presiding bishop of the churches of God in Christ, and to our beautiful first lady, and I'm here to love on. And when I think back on my first time visiting Grady Emanuel, 
um, there's a song that a man of God, a great man of God wrote. It's a very simple song with very simplistic meaning. And a few words just says, love one in to the kingdom of God. Love one in and they'll get involved. So the first time I visit Grady Emanuel on a Sunday morning, they asked all the first time visitors to meet them over at the reception hall because Bishop and First Lady will come over to greet the new visitors. And I met First Lady on that day and she invited me to come back on that Sunday night. And I came back on that Sunday night and after the service, I remember First Lady greeting me again and thanking me for coming. And we shared a little conversation. And so she um, told me, she said, Bishop is a bishop that loves Sunday night service. And I shared with First Lady, I said, I'm a Kojic preacher's daughter. So Sunday night service is a part of my DNA. And from that day, well, First Lady actually took me by my hands and she began to pray with me. And after the prayer, she looked at me and pointed at me. She said, there's a lot in you and we're gonna pull it out. And from that day till this day, I believe First Lady did exactly what that song said. Love me in to the kingdom of God and to Grady Emmanuel. And um, I asked God, I said, God, I, does, I do not have a long history here at Grady Emmanuel, though it'll be four years this coming October. I said, so God, what, do, what, would I, what would you have me to say? Because I personally didn't want to get up here and say a whole lot of nothing. So I said, God, what would you have for me to say? And the Lord gave me three words. And the first two words, he gave me precious jewel. And that's someone that is well-loved, someone that's well-cherished, someone that's valuable. And, that's, and I can go on and on, First Lady, but that's what you are to me in my life. You're a precious jewel. The last word he gave to me was servitude. And that's not the Webster Dictionary servitude, meaning that, that someone is a servant to a master, but voluntary servitude, someone that's not puffed up someone that doesn't esteem themselves above others. But what I got from First Lady is that she pushes you into your purpose with a soft, sweet voice, voice, but with authority. And she let me in on something. She says, everybody know me by Don. And my first name is Claudette. And First Lady calls me Don. But there's a time she does say Claudette. And she told me, she let me in on this. She says, when I say Claudette, that means I'm serious. And I have been going to church online. I know shame on me, but my, church, uh, my job has mandatory Sundays for a couple of months. So I was going to service online and first lady gave me a call and she said, you're not an online Sunday service member. She said, I want you to come back and get involved. And I'm standing here today because I obeyed the soft, sweet voice of our first lady, but with such power and such authority. And I'm here today to stand before you and love on my first lady. First lady, you know, I love you. I mean, I just love you. And I, I said to God, I said, God, you're such a clever God. You're such a clever God to fashion this great woman of God. Connect her to this, our great um, bishop. And then you drop little on me, Claudette, all the way from Chicago, Illinois, here in Detroit, to be up under this great ministry, up under their great leadership. I, I honor God for that. And I just love you, First Lady. Thank you for your soft words, but that authority. And I just ask you all to keep in your prayers. I love you. I love you. I love you. Blessings. Bishop, First Lady, um, I just want to say uh, I'm like lost for words um, by the examples you guys set for me. Um, shout out to my mom in the building. Hey, mom, how you doing? Um, so we have been a part of Grady Emanuel for a long time, as far as back as, as I can remember. Um, but before I was a member, I just remember like hearing this, this voice. Like, who is, who is the Clark sisters? Who is that? I'm young, like eight, seven. Who, who is that? Who is that? But it was that one voice, Sister Shear. I'm like, wow, who, who is Karen Clark Shear at the time? Because I'm young. Now she's first lady. So please forgive me. Um, so I will never forget, uh, I have 
this here, this has been in my mom's house for the last 20 years. If you look at this picture, um, this was on Easter Sunday. If you see us right there, I came to your truck. I said, first lady, can I please have a picture with you, please? This picture has been in my room when I lived with my mom literally for 20 years, literally. And she always signs anything. Whenever she has like a book signing or anything, I'm always there. She even signed this poster for me too. Like this is for real. I was a huge, huge fan. Still is to this day. Still is to this day. So all the songs y'all was just singing choir, I'm singing right with y'all. There is a ball. I'm singing everything. I'm singing everything right with you guys because I know every single first lady shared song. So I just want to say I honor you, Bishop. You are an amazing man. I just look up to you every single day. I can't. And so I just want to say thank you for allowing me to be in ministry with you, sir. And then First Lady, I just want to let you know that I love you. I always have. It's such an honor to be up here to even talk. I'm so nervous. I don't even know how I got this out. But I did. Um, and I just love you all. And uh, thank you so much, First Lady. Excuse me, I'm a little nervous, but um, <laughs> hey, first lady, hey, bishop, how y'all doing? I love y'all so much. Um, so can we just give her a hand clap? Can we just stand to our feet and let's, let's just honor our first lady real quick, please? Come on, y'all. I know y'all can do better than this. I promise I'm the last person y'all gonna hear from, and we'll be on our way. Let's just give her a hand. And to our bishop, can we do it one more time? To our bishop, come on, this is our presiding bishop. This is our pastor. Now, bishop, that's enough about you now. That's enough about you. You know we love you, but today is about our, our first lady, the best dressed, the beautiful, the very reachable first lady. I can recall about a few months ago, um, we were doing the Easter play and she came in and was in rehearsal with us. And it was just an honor to have her up there singing with us as if she ain't the first lady. It's like we were just talking to a whole nother person, like our homegirl. And it was just an honor for her to be, she was giving us singing tips and, you know, things like that. And so when it came down to it, she was, came in and she sat right back there in this middle row. And right when we finished done, got done singing, I came down and I sat next to her. And we were just laughing and we were just talking. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but you pulled out this bag of Skittles. <laughs> it was the gummy kind. And she was just, I guess, I don't know, she was sneaking, trying to open them, but she was trying to keep from making a bunch of noise. So I looked over, I said, no, what is you over here eating? And so I asked her, I said, it's okay if I have some? She was like, yeah, you can have the rest of them. And right when she said that, y'all, here come my mama. You don't need that candy. <laughs> and so, Right after she, and she gave it to me anyway. And I want to thank you. I really do. I thank you for being the person that you are. I thank you for being so inspiring. I thank you for not just being the beautiful person on the inside, but being beautiful on the outside as well. You don't just deserve one day. You deserve every day outside of this day. And I just want to say thank you. I love you. And I hope this day be the best day ever. I love you, First Lady. I'm going to get this mic thing together. Pray for me, saints. 
At this time, we're going to have a few more reflections via video. And then once those videos are concluded, uh, Evangelist Dorinda Clark Cole and Superintendent uh, Adams are going to come forth and lead us in our uh, ministry of giving. Can we say amen? Hi. I just wanted to be able to say thank you for all that you do that most people don't even know that you do. First Lady Karen Clark Shear. You are an awesome grandmother. Oh yes, I've seen on Facebook, you training your grandson to sing, and I just loved it. You're an awesome mother, wonderful wife, and such a wonderful first lady. So many people don't know that you operate in the background. I do. I watch and I see you're very effective. You're such a wonderful person. You know, um, your mother, would be so, so proud of the lady that you have become. The mother, the grandmother, the wife, the first lady. The first lady of the Church of God. Greetings to everyone on today. I am Lady Shirley Wooten, the wife of General Board Member Bishop Lawrence M. Wooten. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the fragrance of the Church of God in Christ, Lady Karen Clark Sheard, on her annual love service. Lady Sheard is a jewel. She is a friend to everyone. She is a singer, songwriter, musician, actress, evangelist, entrepreneur, wife, mother, and grandmother. She's a four-time Grammy Award winner and multiple stellar. Good afternoon and greetings to all of you, the Lord's people. We give deference to our most eminent leader, presiding bishop, chief apostle, and the celebrated pastor of the Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ, Bishop J. Drew Sheard. I am just tickled pink to have been chosen to give warm greetings and to honor your pastor's wife, Lady Karen Sheard. Well, today, Lady Sheard, this is such a special and noteworthy day that has been chosen to honor you and to say how loved you are all over the world. There are so many writings in God's word that we can connect you with and speak truthfully that you are an example to and exemplifies the wonderful attributes of the writings. The blessings of the Lord be upon you, my dear friend and sister. I have known you just about all of your life. You have walked with Bishop since you left 18203 Sorrento. When you said, I do, what a beautiful wedding. I was there. You continue with him to Mitchell Street Church of God in Christ and then to Greater Emmanuel on Sternavent. I was there. When Greater Emanuel purchased the building on Southfield Freeway, I was there. Well, even to Greater Emanuel Institutional on Schaefer Highway where you are now, I was there. Yes, I have watched you be that strong support to your husband. You remember First Lady of Country Music, Tammy Wynette, it won a Grammy, and it simply said, Stand by your man. Lady Sheer, you have modeled the Titus II healthy teaching for women. You are a portrait of the Proverbs 31, trustworthy, purposeful, compassionate, and helpful, godly woman. Yes, 
the prudent wife as penned in Proverbs 12 and 4. And it simply says, an excellent wife is like a crown to her husband. We celebrate you today as the wife of the pastor, which clearly communicates that this is not a position, but a seat of honor as the pastor's wife. You were built for this, as Ford always says, you were built to last. Greater Emmanuel and the entire Church of God in Christ sees the importance of your ministry to your husband because you can tenderize Bishop's words, you medicate and give therapy to his emotions, and your humbleness and respectfulness and submissiveness gives credibility to his ministry. Today, I salute you and honor you for the godliness and righteous example you have exhibited as a pastor's wife. And to God be the glory. We love you forever. God bless you. Well, come on, aren't we enjoying this wonderful love day for our First Lady, Greater Emmanuel? Come on, y'all don't sound like y'all really, really, are y'all serious? This is a wonderful day to celebrate this awesome um, day that we are celebrating our First Lady, uh, Superintendent Adams. And um, you know what? I'm so grateful for our, our leader today. Let's thank God for our leader. Because this would not happen unless we had this great leader. Come on, we could do better than that. Come on, let's thank God. One more time, just labor on your feet and let's thank God for this awesome man of God, our presiding bishop. Come on, the chief apostle that God has given us for this time. And as we are celebrating our first lady, we want him to know that we appreciate him allowing us to have this day. Um, uh, Elder Adams, this day has been pushed aside um, last, well, this year because um, it was a lot that was going on um, with our uh, ascension of our presiding bishop. And um, our first lady says, well, I don't know right now. I just want to concentrate on my husband and I want to make sure that he's taken care of. So she pushed this day aside. I said she pushed this day aside <laughs> because she wanted to make sure this is the pinnacle of the ascension of our presiding bishop um, and this time in his life. And so she wanted to have that time to share. And I think this was just wonderful for Gregory Emanuel to and the committee of the women's department. Can y'all just stand real quick? You know, the committee, the committee, the this is uh, Lady Sheard's committee. Uh, women's department, the executive board, and the subcommittee, and those that are here, those that are watching online, we appreciate every last one of these ladies because they had something to do with this day. Come on, let's clap your hands and give them. Thank you, ladies. As you've seen, those ladies given the bird of paradise, which is First Lady's favorite flower. Um, and we gave that to her on today. But today, I think it's so special, and I appreciate every last one of you that have took time out of your schedule to celebrate this awesome day that we would celebrate our First Lady. All of the videos that you have seen today coming from our national department, um, all of the leading ladies that are here, we have more to come. But um, I think that was wonderful to show that kind of love um, from the national church and those friends from her and we appreciate that. So, Superintendent Adams, I think this is the time that we come to show the love. Um, I know all of us can't get up here and talk about her, and I know you love her so much, don't you? I know you do. And so what we're going to do is give you this opportunity to show tangible um, by your green, as we have on green. We have, y'all have green in your pockets and stuff. So that's going to be your way that you show your love and she will know that you have shown your love by um, showing that and coming up. And so, Superintendent Adams, now I'm going to give you time to talk because I you, just wanted you to. Sure, you're going to yes. let me say something? I wanted, I wanted <laughs> to get that out. I had to get that out because I work really hard. No, I'm just kidding. No. But, uh, 
But no, I, I just, I think the Lord, and you say it all the time, that everybody or every church want to or ought to have a first lady, lady like our first lady. And I do concur. I do concur. Uh, the, the thing that is so wonderful about Sister Sheard is that she has been the same every time, everywhere you see her. She has not changed. She will laugh with you. She'll laugh at you. <laughs> and she'll make you laugh. <laughs> she'll make you laugh wherever you see her. Uh, I, normally I have stories, but um, uh, Serenity had the story today because um, I, I have stories that I could tell, but she really threatens me and tells me not to tell them those stories. But I remember we were flying to California. <laughs> tell it. Okay. We were going to California for AIM convention, and um, Sister Shear, all of the Clark sisters were on the flight, and uh, she was sitting in a uh, coach with us people. And so, uh, and so as, we were, as we were getting all settled, uh, the gentleman came over the PA and said, we have the Clark sisters on board. Everybody just went crazy, ah, and said, Karen Clark Sheard, would you please turn on your uh, light, your, your uh, atten flight attendant light? Uh, I have something I want to tell you. And so he, she turned it on. She was sitting directly behind me. Wrong place to be seated. And the man came down the aisle, and he said, ma'am, your suitcase busted open on the thing. <laughs> You had too much stuff in your suitcase and it busted open and we had to put your clothes in a trash bag. She looked at him as if to say, why would you say that in front of him? <laughs> the next anniversary service we had, I came in with a bag of a trash bag because <laughs> I wanted her to know. We got some duct tape and a trash bag so that next time it happened, but I'm not going to tell that story, but we do love you. We certainly do appreciate you. And um, as much as the national church has taken the time to support her and to appreciate her, whatever she is to them, she is that and more to us and have been that for us for the 28 years that I've been here and for the years that she shared um, long before my, my time of being here. Love you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you for loving my pastor the way that you do. Thank you for being the person that you are and for just being genuine. Uh, there's some people who are just, you know, fake and they do what they do because that's who they are. But you've been a genuine person. Uh, I was talking with Bishop on the other day and I said, it used to be a time we see our eyebrows come together, but that hasn't happened in a long time. And, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And so we love you. Would you help me celebrate her one more time? <laughs> Amen. So, Grady Emanuel, you know what we have asked you to do down through the years, and we're going to do that today. All of the members, we've asked you to give at least $100, and so we're going to ask that you would get those gifts together and prepare them. If you have them physically, we want you to do that, but if you have them on, if you have uh, your cash app or you have the electronic ways of giving, please, if you don't mind, those of you that are watching online, we want you to be a part as well. She is not only the first lady here, but she's the first lady of the Church of God in Christ, and we want everybody. We want everybody to be a part. So all the ways of giving are there. There is a, a there's PayPal. There's a text to give. There's uh, there is a Givelify. There's Cash App. And then if you physically have an offering, you can put it in an envelope. And then those uh, ushers will make sure that you get it. We're gonna have all of you to stand in just a moment. We're gonna pray with you and pray for you. And then we're gonna have you to pass it down so that we not have to do a lot of walking. Uh, and, 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 and moving all over the place. So please get those together. But if you have your devices, get them together because we want to be a blessing. Um, I want to just add this, that when you are doing your cash app or um, in the memo section, please make sure you put in there First Lady's Appreciation and so that we'll know how to apply that, uh, the funds, okay? Will y'all do that for us? All right. Um, we're going to ask the... Um, the committee to stand, the committee to stand, and um, they will be the first to actually um, lead out in giving, in giving, and you can just show us how we're gonna do that. But I do want to acknowledge that I am giving a $300 offering in this, um, in, in this love day, 
for our First Lady. Amen. Mother Barbara Baku Lewis, the general supervisor of the Church of God in Christ, sent a love token of $700. Amen. And we thank God for the best leader in the whole wide world. He's giving $1,500 in this offering. And so we appreciate the Lord for him. Amen. All of the committee members, uh, those of you that have your gifts, if you have, if you have them prepared, you can come where you come from where you are and amen you can and if you're doing it on your phones and you're doing it in cash app and all of those ways then that's fine amen we certainly appreciate you amen we thank god that you have been a part of this and thank you for your hard work thank you for all of what you've done going to challenge everybody else to get that gift in your hand with your devices whether they're your you're giving on cash app or any of the electronic ways would you stand with that gift in your hand would you stand with that gift or with that uh, device hold it up as you're standing if you have it and then if you have a physical offering if you have a physical offering we want to make sure you put it in that envelope and then we're going to have these gentlemen to come down that aisle and they're going to pick up that gift they're going to pick up that gift yes they could put their cards in that um, in the receptacle it's fine bless you bow your heads with us we love you and appreciate you and we give you praise thank you that you've been good to us you've been kind you've made ways for us and we thank you for this jewel thank you for this anointed individual that you've allowed to be in our lives for such a time as this and today God as we give as we give as unto you but as we give and sow into her life would you take these seeds and multiply them back into our lives for the sake of ministry and for our personal life and we'll bless you for it and we'll give you glory praise and honor in Jesus name we pray thank God amen and amen those of you that have those physical offerings if you're on my left you're right you're going to pass them to this to this aisle right here and then I want you to watch Watch your money until it gets all the way down. The person on the end, you're going to remain standing until those gentlemen have come and picked it up. And we're going to do the same thing on my right. We're going to do the same thing on my right. Pass it down to this aisle here. And then I want you to watch it as it goes all the way down. And then as soon as you see them put it in the bucket, you can have your seat. Uh, Elder Superintendent Kaimba Nolan had to make a run, but he left his offering as well. And we certainly appreciate the Lord for him. Mother Mary Jane Walton has uh, left her offering as well. Mother, uh, Mother Adams has left $100 in that offering. Mother, our supervisor, Mother Olivia Williams, has left a $250 offering. Um, we have here today First Lady. Uh, we have First Lady of the Southwest Jurisdiction Number Two with us today. Lady Molly Whitehead is here with us. Uh, she has left her offering as well. Um, we have uh, Supervisor Renee Murray. Um, she has left her offering. Superintendent Larry Murray has left his offering. Um, Supervisor Diane Bogan has left her offering, and we have. Um, a lot of the, uh, the first ladies of our jurisdiction, wave your hand over there, all the first ladies, look at them. They are here, Sister Sheard. They are here, these wonderful ladies. And um, so to, some of them, they could not come, but they did bring or leave their, their offering as well. Um, of course, we have um, Lady Stevenson um, has also um, given her, uh, her offering as well. Amen, any more, any more? Any love gifts? You have any any love gifts that you want to share today? We can certainly take time and get those at this point. Here's one right here. Bless you. Amen. From the GEI Deacons Board. There's a gift. Amen. From the Deacon Board. God bless you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh Thank the Lord for being here, Sister Shear. You know we love you. We appreciate you. And we appreciate everything that you do for the women's department. You take out time. We enjoy the fellowship that we have. And we just want to let you know that we love you. And we're giving you, uh, certainly we can't pay you for being the first lady, but we do want to show you a love of $1,100. Now, if it was Bishop's Day, I'd say if there's any motorcycles, but amen, we're not going to give her a motorcycle, but if you have any cars, come on, Mother, Mother, Mother uh, Ella Gordon has something she wants to share.
Your sharp self. You told me to wear green. <laughs> so I did. I thank the Lord for this opportunity. A mother bo mother's board, members that are here, will you stand? All of the mothers, we thank God for you. You are such a wonderful example of what we are supposed to be about. But nobody can say it like Mother Olivia Williams. She said everything today. I thought, oh, it's a good thing that this is a woman and not a man saying this, because Bishop would have a problem with that. <laughs> we thank God for you. And we've had this gift. The Mother's Board had this made for you. We've had it since the first Sunday in May. And we've been holding on to it. It was hard to hold on to because it's so pretty. I really wanted you to have it and be wearing it. Please take it out. And I gave Frankie instruction that he was not to make this color because I already had it. Oh, it's beautiful. Come on, give the mother's board a hand. That's none other than Mother Ella Gordon. Evangelist Joanne Brown couldn't be here today, but she sent her gift. Uh, Sister Shear as well. There are others that had the uh, uh, couldn't be here, but they do want you to know they love and appreciate you. If you've been obedient in your giving, would you clap your hands and let's praise the Lord? Come on, do better than that. Clap your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Right, we're gonna get right back into our program. Um, we're gonna. I want y'all to please give it up for um, Lady um, Lord Jesus have mercy, Lady Vicky Brooks. Come on, give it up for Lady Vicky Brooks and sit right next to her. Sometimes that happens, but she's done a wonderful job, hasn't she? Come on, give it up, give it up, give it up. I also want to thank the media to, to the media department back there, Sister Kiera who's been really working with Auntie, trying to help all of this together. I know I won't be able to say none of this, but I want to tell you, thank you so much. All the media, give it up for the media team back there. Y'all work really hard in making this happen. I want to thank y'all so much. All right, come on. Well, amen. At this time, we're going to have a few more uh, video tributes. And then directly following that, our choir is coming back with a musical presentation. And we'd like them to come on and get in place now. And uh, then we'll move further in the service. Can we say amen? God bless you. This is Dr. Ricky Dillow, the choir master. And I stopped by to celebrate one of the greatest and incredible women that I know and that is in the person of Lady Karen Clark Sheard. I met Lady Sheard in the early 90s. I was doing a workshop at uh, Bishop William Murphy Seniors Church in Detroit, and her and Jackie came over to the service. And then rolling through the years, Ben Whitfield called me as I was recording my album entitled Hallelujah, he asked if I would have the Clark sisters to do half time. And we were able to come together, and this was around the time that Mother Clark passed away. And to have the sisters around that time, even in a painful place that we all were in, we built an incredible, an incredible relationship, and that relationship still carries on today. I love you so much, my sister. I'm so thankful for what the Lord has done in your life, through your life. And as we have watched, we're so humbled.
to have you serve as our church mother, the lead mother of the Church of God in Christ. And we love you, First Lady. We love you so much. You keep on making us proud and so transparent and so godly and virtuous. I love you. We honor you today. God bless you. Lady Karen Clark Sheard. My babe, don't tell the rest of your sisters. I just want to pause just to tell you, I love you, I celebrate you. To the first lady of the Church of God in Christ, I praise God for you. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you so much for, I just started thinking about the years um, that used to come to Baltimore and I would assemble a team of people and we would just sing wherever you would take us. You've taken us to the Black Family Reunion in DC. That was the largest crowd I had ever sung to at that time. And so many other things, so many other opportunities I've experienced because you allowed me to stand on your shoulders and to stand on your platform. I love you. I praise God for you. I pray that he will continue to give you great health. I pray that he will continue to take your voice across the globe. I pray for you and I pray for Bishop. I love you all so much. Congratulations. I celebrate you. Congratulations. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 and 11. It is with those thoughts the Lord ordained this day of celebration as we honor our First Lady, Lady Karen Clark Shear. I'm grateful to be able to congratulate you on this special day. What can I say about God's precious jewel? We know her as a woman who carries herself with great humility. I know her as a woman whose presence lights up a room when she walks in. One of Lady Shear's greatest assets is her ability to put you at ease with her warm smile. I can say Hello, Greater Emmanuel, Institutional Church of God in Christ in Detroit, Michigan, under the leadership of our presiding bishop, J. Drew Sheard. We greet you all the way from the West Coast, Hayward, California, Glad Tidings Church of God in Christ International, under the leadership of Bishop J. W. Macklin, First Assistant Presiding Bishop. We salute you on this day of celebration of love for our First Lady, Karen Clark Shear. I am so godly proud how God has chosen to use Lady Karen to share the gospel message of Jesus Christ around the world. Karen, you are a gift from the Lord, the kind of woman who brings life wherever you go, who brightens up the room and encourages those in it. You are ready with a smile, just when we need it. You're, we celebrate you today because to know you is to love you, and to love you is to be especially blessed. Thank you for our kinship, our friendship, and our relationship. We love you, Vanessa Macklin and family. Lady Karen, Lady Karen, I love you so much. It's Erica Campbell wishing you a very happy love day. I celebrate you today. I'm so grateful for you. You've spoken into my life. I'm grateful for the moments that I've been able to text you and ask you for your advice. And you're always gracious and godly and kind. And I appreciate that so much. I love the way you've raised your children to be a working in ministry. I pray that I'm blessed with the same grace that God has graced you with. Thank you for just being an amazing, amazing woman and a phenomenal singer. I mean, like the best in the world. I love you so much. I praise God for your life and I celebrate you today. God bless. Praise the Lord, Great Emmanuel. First Lady, the music department, we love you so much. So we just came up with this little medley of some of your best work. Drew a Stanley Brown today. I'm going to be Donald and this the company. 
And uh, yeah, so we come together. Love you, Bishop. We don't want to be disrespectful. We ready. So we going to mock you. We going to do all this stuff. It's off love for you. Come on, clap your hands, Grady Mayer. Come on, let's try to say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome. Come on in, Come take on a seat, y'all. Hey. To the Zion. To the Zion. We acknowledge. We acknowledge one more time, one more time. Holy Spirit, y'all. You are welcome. You are welcome. Come on in, Come take on a seat, y'all. It has been a praise of the Zion. To the Zion. To the Zion. To the Zion. To the Zion.
the heavens are telling of God and His glory. A mighty God we serve. They speak of His character, an awesome Creator. A mighty God we serve. Adore him, no other God above him. Ooh, oh my, to God we serve. Oh, oh my, to God we serve. Keep my life 
love you, First Lady. Clark Sheard on an international level. We've shown you who she is jurisdictionally. We've shown you who she is, and we continue to show you who she is as our First Lady of Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ. And now we're going to have her family come forth, and they're going to talk to you about who she is as their mother. So at this time, Kiara Sheard Kelly and J. Drew Sheard II are coming forth. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Auntie. I'm so excited to be here. Praise the Lord, Greater Emmanuel. I am so excited to be here. I honor Jesus. He's so good. Aren't you glad you know Jesus? That word that Bishop gave this morning, it was convicting, wasn't it? It was, I've been with Jesus, and our leaders have been with Jesus. We celebrate you both. Daddy, you know I love you. I am a daddy's girl. One more time, let's honor Jesus real quick. I'm sorry. Amen. I'm going to get out of the way. Um, we love Jesus. We honor him. And, of course, that's why we're here. Uh, but we're also here, here, not here, but here to honor <laughs> our first lady. Um, as you can see, I, well, I have to say some words about my dad. Dad, you're amazing. I love, well, I just said words about you the other day. Praise God. So you let me slide this time. But this is my lone officer. Praise God. Um, but, <laughs> um, and he, my dad is my friend. I, that's my road. I can't call him my road dog, but y'all know what I mean when I say that. I love my daddy. My daddy. My. <laughs> okay. Y'all see, we like to have fun. Mommy, you are a G. Oh, I love you so much. You, so obviously, you know how the relationship changes from mother to child, and then you get to experience mother and friend, but still child. And you have been the best friend ever. I understand why your sisters are ride or die for you, because you are, your friendship is, the Bible says, that I'll give you a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And I know how you ride for your children, your husband. It's like Bonnie and Clyde kind of situation. You are down, and you have taught me how to be a wife. My husband was supposed to join me, but I don't. He's reserved, so praise God. Um, but can we clap for my husband, <laughs> Mr. Jordan Kelly? Um, but you've. Help me to make good choices in people and good choices and just to discern. Um, I don't know if you all have had experiences with your mother where your mom would tell you about certain friends that were in your life. You got to watch that one. And, and I'd be like, okay. So I would just get scared. I didn't know to cut off people or what because when mama told me not to cut my hair, for some reason for like five years, my hair didn't grow back. And I'm like, this lady is powerful. Okay. <laughs> So um, it's just so many things that I could go on and on. 
Um, but one thing that I remember, and I just thank you, Mommy, for you find time for your husband, for your children, for your grandchildren, and then for greater Emmanuel members. And then on this platform that you are now sitting in, you still find time. And you're it seems like you're aging backwards. So you definitely can see that God's hand is on your life. And um, yeah. Because a lot of these seats would run some other woman down. You can, you can see it in her skin. You light skin. You got melanin in there, but the light skin, we sag a little quicker, praise God. But sis, it's tight. Come on and clap your hands for tightness. God is holding her together. Hallelujah. And so, hallelujah. <laughs> Let me hurry up. Okay. Okay, my other um, story that I wanted to share with you was my most memorable moment. Um, you, it's two stories. Let me just, I'm going to hurry up. Two stories. One story was J. Drew. This is where I got my, like, don't mess with my family, be loyal, whatever. And then with my friends, too. Um, I was um, pushed down a flight of stairs um, when I was at Bates Academy. And I can't. No, it was Bates. It was Bates. Flight of stairs. And I came home, my dad and my Uncle Ethan were so remorseful. Uncle Ethan went up to the school like the guy was a teenager and he was only an adolescent, praise God. But <laughs> they was ready for war because, I mean, I'm the little girl. You know, I'm a big girl now, praise God. But then I was a little girl. And I got home to my mommy and she showed no remorse, praise God. She said, girl, you come in this house and you beating on my son, you better beat them jokers out in the street how you beat them in here. So after that, I was baby D. I don't know if y'all seen Friday, but the boys was running from me. So I thank you for teaching, my, teaching me my authority, praise God. And to go, they just said, authority, the Holy Ghost power. So the second thing was I was at Bates Academy and uh, for some reason, as Karen Clark Sheard's daughter, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark was still alive then, I thought that I was going to sing uh, I Get So Weak in the Knees by SWV. And it was two other friends, and we had a, I mean, we was ready. And we were preparing for a talent show. There's a young lady that walks from the back of the door with a fur coat on, and she sees me singing this song. She said, she said, hold on, hold on. She stopped everything. And it wasn't just me. It was a whole bunch of other children that were waiting their turn. And she said, who getting weak in what knees? I said, are we going to have a revival right now? I'm only eight. And so she got on the piano. And I'm going to tell this story eventually in another part of my career. But I'm really excited about it. But um, what you taught me, Mom, in that moment is you got on the piano and you said, we're going to change that song. And you made me choose a gospel song, not knowing that that was setting me up for my career. Mm -hmm. So where you get scriptures, where you got train up a child in the way that that was my training moment. And baby, you set me up. Okay. And so in that moment, I, I saw that friends will drop off. Sometimes it can be a lonely road. And you've even shown me how to maintain the fruits of the spirit. And I just want to honor you and say, I love you so much. And there's so many things that I can say to go on and on about both you and my father. But I'm so glad, Dad, too, that you've chosen my mother. I was saying, care is God a man at home. I love you, Nana. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you say it in a minute. Okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. Giving honor to God, who's the head of my life. Um. What can I say about my Nana? Well, first, Poppy, you know our connection. I love you. Um, but what can I say about my Nana? I, uh, I love you so much. Um, I really thought about it and because no one is really blessed to have a grandmother like the grandmother I have. Um, I just thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Um, but what I was saying was, I, like, I'm not, like, everybody's not blessed with a grandmother. 
And for me to just have an excellent grandmother like you, I appreciate you for everything you do for me. And I just love you with all my heart. And I began to look at these pictures, and I said, man, my nan is a beautiful lady. <laughs> so I just thank you so much, Nana, for all you do for me. And thank you so much. I love you guys. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. Are you, you guys enjoying your, your time in the service? We're here to celebrate my mother. Let's give it up for my mother, the first lady of the Church of God in Christ. I'm sorry, the first lady of the United States of God in Christ. We'll talk about that later. Um, I'm going to start with my dad. Dad, you already know how I feel about you. We at home, so of course we don't have to have nothing written out. Y'all see Kiera up here acting the fool. That's because we at home. Of course, we had to be more formal at the uh, inauguration. Didn't y'all enjoy the inauguration? Wasn't that amazing to see the whole Church of God in Christ come out and support my dad? Dad, you already know how I feel about you. You know, I'm a fan, as I stated a couple weeks ago. Um, he is our loan officer. Kiki, right about that. So I just want to slide that in there. And he makes sure we pay him back. I still owe you. I still got you, though. I still got you. <laughs> um, but, yes, my dad, Dad, I love you. Thanks for always being a role model, not only to me, but, of course, to my friends, my peers, uh, my other family members that, that, that don't have fathers. They, we all look up to you. And it's just like a community of us that looks up to you. So thank you for being a role model. And thank you for being our leader. Thank you for showing us how to walk. As he was telling his stories, he said when he walk in the house, he said, mama walk in the house. And it's just, damn, damn. when he walk in the house, it's boom, boom, boom. boom. <laughs> my my uh, Wednesday night Bible study people, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know Bishop Act the Food on them uh, Bible studies. <laughs> That's what he the real is. But yes, dad, I love you. And uh, what can I say about my mother? The first lady, the greatest singer of all time. I don't know if y'all know this. I can share this because I'm, of course, I'm a little bit on the music side. But did y'all know that Beyonce sampled the Clark Sisters for the second time on her new album? Did y'all know that? Now, I'm not encouraging y'all to go listen to the song because we're not going to talk about what she was talking about in that song. Amen. But my young people know what I'm talking about, but that just goes to show that this, we have the greatest, we literally have the greatest singer of all time sitting in our presence. And I'm so happy to be a part of the journey, um, even just from my mama starting me off and make, giving me a chance to play drums and giving me an opportunity to even travel with her as an artist. Uh, the first time I started traveling with, was, was with my mom. Well, was it with you, Kia, or was it with mama? It was with mama, because mama was doing it longer. No, it was with you, because I wasn't old enough when mama was... Look at her back there. <laughs> it was you, okay. I st but mom started it all. But after I got my experience with uh, Kiera, of course, uh, my mom started letting me travel with her. And it was just amazing how she just, I just started off and just kept traveling. And that led to other opportunities. I got a chance to travel and go on tours with different other artists. And my career just took off from there. My first produced track, I got to get this one to Kiki. It was on Kiera's album. But then once I got to that level... My mom finally let me do a record on her album, first, first album. I think I was about 16, 17 uh, when I first produced for my mom. And it was just amazing. And also the, that album that I produced, I was on an album with heavyweights. So it was like Donald Lawrence. It was like Israel Halton. It was like Timberland. It was like uh, just some of the greatest producers across the world. And just for little old me to have my start. Um, that's just amazing. I mean, it's not a lot of parents that do this, do this for these kids. Like sometimes when their kids get a little bit more successful or over succeed, um, you know, with the parents done, the parents get jealous. We a little quiet in here, but sometimes the parents jealous. I'm not saying y'all in here because certainly none of the Grady Emanuel parents is like that. Amen. Grady Emanuel parents. But some parents, you'll be surprised. Some parents get jealous of their kids. And, you know, on the flip side, my parents, they poured into us. Our parents, our parents taught us. I don't know if my dad would want me to say this, but my parents taught, well, this was my uh, perception of how I was taught. My dad, he would stay on us and he would say, you know, don't do this, don't do that. But they would give us just a little room to step out there and get a little taste. 
and be like, okay, go out there. And if you, you're going to come back running in a minute, but go ahead, go on out there, do what you're going to do. And then watch, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And I had to learn the hard way. So parent kids, listen to your parents. But I appreciate our parents. That's what gave Kier and I a little balance. You know, we're able to move in different rooms. We know how to be, you know, in, in, in the room where it's the, I don't want to say church people, but around our church family. And then we also know how to move in the streets with people, not street streets, but outside of church, I'm going to say that. You know, but that's that balance that our parents gave us. Like, if you see, uh, our parents is like that. You know, our parents is like that. Mom, she, she worked with some of the top R&B singers, Whitney Houston's. Uh, Missy Elliott's, Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, all of them, you know, but she's, they still look, they can see the God in her and that make these people in the world want to be like us, you know, so I just want to say thank you and thank you for letting me take the lead of your career. I'll be in the studio and mom is looking at me and I'm like, you're the greatest of all time. Sing. I'm going to press this button and sing. And we're actually, I want to, I think I can make this announcement. Um, uh, KCS is working on a new project, y'all. It's, I think it's been like 10, 12 years. About 10, 12 years since we heard from solo KCS. Listen, y'all, we're going to blow this album up. Y'all hear me? But... Yeah, so we, you know, we in the studio and we, you know, I'm, you know, she, she, she singing stuff. She do, ah, and then she look at me, and I'm, I'm sitting there like, I'm sitting there listening, like, you know, like waiting for her to do, and she, she just quiet and she looking at, I look up and I see she's staring at me, telling me to tell her what to do. I'm like, you're the greatest of all time, sing. <laughs> but she just has so much trust in me, and you know, I appreciate you, mom, for trusting me with your career, with, 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 with your musical judgment. I'm just honored as I express at the inauguration. I'm a fan of my family. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a fan. I like to sit back and just see them do their thing. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. So I just want to say, Mom, I love you. I already talked to you, talked to you about the, the blessing I got coming this week on the way. Uh, I wasn't supposed to say that in front of Dad, but Dad, I was going to talk to you about it too. <laughs> But I'm going to drop a little something in your account, too. I, I, I got you, Dad. I got you. I ain't forgot about you, Dad. <laughs> I got you. But, yes, thank you so much for being the best woman in my life. You still are the best woman in my life. And I, I just look forward to the future. I look forward to this new projects. And I look forward to winning a Grammy with my family. It's not too many families out here. And I don't want the musicians to start playing music on me, but it's not too many families out here that's winning Grammys together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, got, you also got the Jacksons, okay? You got the Jacksons, and you got the Clark sisters, and you got the, the, all of these other family groups. But what about the daughter and, I'm sorry, the, 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 the mother, daughter, and son winning the Grammys? Where they do that at? <laughs> And it's about to be right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My dad said, speak it. I'm speaking it right now in the name of Jesus that we're going to come back with these Grammys. Not one, but two. Because we working on two projects. We work. Look at you back there. Two. Two. Yes, sir. We speaking it right now. Thank you, Bishop, for, for uh, blessing us with that. We're going to get one for Kier's project. And we're going to get it on KCS project. The stream is running. Y'all running? Because I want the people to go back. And I also want the people telling my father to, to speak it right now in the, in, in the name of the, the house of the Lord right now. So I'm speaking it right now. Um, okay, I'm going to get out of here. I'm getting too excited. These Grammys, that got me excited. Okay, I'm gone. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Mom, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. My presence and all my love is coming sooner than soon. I'm still going to get you that mansion. You two pops, y'all going to be living carefree. I know y'all already almost there now, but y'all not going to be paying for nothing. Y'all got me stream? I'm, I'm saying all this on the stream. I'm speaking it right now. Okay, God bless y'all. Come on and give J. Drew Shear the second a hand along with Kiara Sheard Kelly. Didn't you enjoy those comments about our first lady as a mother? At this time, ministry presentations are going to come forth. If you have a ministry presentation, 
would you please come forth? You're going to line up on, on my right if you have any presentations that you would like to make. And we don't want you to come on the stage. They're going to bring the mic to you so that you aren't walking up these steps. And uh, just throw our kisses as you uh, come forth. While they're coming, I just want to say, Sister Sheard, that I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, I want to say on behalf of my children that they love you because down through the years, you have loved them. You told Jessica that she was your daughter and you have always treated her as such. And you know how Jay feels about you. If he's anywhere around on that road, you don't have to worry. Bishop, he covers her. He says it in my house. I cover my auntie. So we thank you and we love you. All right, come forth. Giving honor to God who's ahead of my life to my bishop. Um, praise God. I just want to say I love you, Sister Sheer. Thank you for pouring so much into me over the years. And you know how I feel about you. I love you so much. I'm standing on behalf of the greeters. Can we please stand, greeters? <laughs> we just have a small love token for you. And we love you so much. Just wanted to say um, how much I love you, First Lady, and thank you for being an example. Didn't want to say anything and start crying, so I thought of a, something funny. Um, a few years ago, I presented something uh, at the appreciation, and Mother Sheard was sitting behind Bishop and First Lady, and she was like, oh, that's so wonderful. You're so precious, and oh, that's so sweet, and I slid, messed up slid Bishop a little gift, and she was like, it's not his day. Give that back. <laughs> and I just thought of that, and I just wanted to let you know how much I love you and I appreciate you. Bishop, First Lady, I love you. There are so many conversations that we have had in the past since I've been a member at, uh, here at Greater Emmanuel, which is 2007. But your uh, wisdom, some of our laughs and conversations, speaking into my future, and I just want to say I love you, and the diamond that is polished, which I couldn't give you, but I thought I would give you something a little closer to it. Okay. Give an honor to Bishop, thank you. First Lady, we love you. This is from the music department. Music department, y'all st stand up. <laughs> music department and uh, our wonderful minister of music, he's yeah. somewhere. So we're representing the music department. We just want to let you know we love you. We appreciate you. One thing that, that sticks in my mind with you is um, I think the, the Essence Festival honored the Clark sisters a few years ago. And when you guys came back, that Tuesday, Sister Sheard and the sisters was in noonday prayer. They were just honored by Mary J. Blige, but they still was humble enough and their found, you know their foundation. First Lady, they were in noonday prayer right after coming from the Essence Festival. I was at that noonday prayer and I'm just like, wow, they live this thing. They're not just singing it, they live it. And we thank you for that example. That just made me want to, I love, I used to love coming to Noonday Prayer and prayer, you know, being with them in prayer. So I, we thank you so much for that. And the music department, we love you, we support you. We love you. Thank you so much. We love you. We have, we have these flowers in the car for you.
All right, at this time, we are going to have evangelist Dorinda Clark Cole. She's going to come forth, and she is going to introduce our honoree. Can we say amen as she comes? Isn't this a wonderful day? Come on, let's, let's love on our first lady one more time. Um, they're preparing for a video right now, but um, I think this is wonderful that we would take this time and show her how much we love her. You all did a wonderful job by just staying here throughout this whole time and just, just loving on her. Your presence, I know, is really giving her a lot of joy right now. There's a video they're going to play. And then we're going to present our first lady. You all know who she is. We have been talking about it all day. But we're going to show you this video and see if you can remember some of these clips of our first lady. That was a drop mic right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stand on your feet. We're going to present to you this wonderful, beautiful, awesome woman of God, the diamond that is here at Greater Emmanuel. I want you to put your hands together. Let's give a rousing applause to our first lady as she approached the podium. We want her to know how much we love you. Come on, come on, give it up. We present to you. First Lady of the Church of God in Christ and right here at GEI, Church of God in Christ. First Lady Karen Clark Sheep. all the glory for the things. Can you help me give Jesus an ovation? Oh, come on. We, he deserves the praise. Just for giving me life. I know you have your testimony, but let us just take our time for our awesome God and our Savior. Just for having you in my life. Come on. Come on. Let's appreciate 
this connection. I give God honor and I give God glory. I give God praise. You may take your seat for this opportunity and this time. Oh, I got so much to thank God for. I'm just so full and I'm thankful today. These are not tears of sadness, but these are tears of joy. And I want you to know that I have joy in my heart because the joy of the Lord has been my strength. Even when I felt like sometimes, where was God? But God showed up. That's the way he is, is that he show up any time that you need him. And I'm just so thankful that God has given me life, health, and strength. I know you have constantly heard me and heard my testimony, but I shall never forget how God spared me from death door. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. When I thought it was all over, there was a day when I said, God, are you about to take me? But he proved to me and came through and said, I'm not finished with you yet. So that's why I have a constant worship and praise on my lips. Because if it had not been for God, I wouldn't be standing here. If it had not been for God, I wouldn't have these many opportunities. I wouldn't be able to walk in the doors that he opened for me. I wouldn't be able to go through these battles but because of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, I got so much to thank God for. Come on, help me give God glory. I have to take out time. Hallelujah, to give him praise. I just want you to just think about one thing of God being great to you. Come on, how are you going to respond? Come on, how are you going to respond about this great God that we serve? We honor, we honor our Savior and our Lord, Jesus Christ. God bless you. I got so much to be thankful for because I know I could have been, and you all could have been giving me flowers and putting them on my casket. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You could be giving me flowers and putting them on my grave. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, God, I love you. Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you, God. When God says that there is more for you, there is more for you. I don't care what type of fire. There's different types of fire. But there's been some fire that... <laughs> Uh, that we've been through that I saw my husband go through <laughs> and God knows how to mm, put us in the fire like the three <laughs> Hebrew boys <laughs> that was in the fiery furnace I can say hallelujah we may have been burnt but we're still standing <laughs> I'm still standing and I'm, I am a walking I am a living testimony and I have so much to honor God for. And I want to thank God for allowing me to be connected to the greatest people in the world. And that's you, you, and you, Greater Emmanuel. You are the greatest church. I thank you, thank you so much. And to all of my guests, it's an honor to be connected to you. I want you to know you got to be thankful that you in the land of the living. Sometimes, so many times, things go on in our lives. But do you ever take out time and say, God, you really brought me through this. It had to be an amazing God to bring us through. Hallelujah. When they put us at the end of the line. Hallelujah. When I tell you, when the Bible says he prepares a table before you. Woo! I saw God put steak. I saw God put shrimp, caviar in front of, preparing a table. Don't go over, don't let it go over your head. But when God prepares a table for you, all you got to do is sit at the table. Just take a seat. 
Just look at somebody and say, just take a seat, take a seat. Take a seat. Let God bring the meal. Hallelujah. And he's going to cause your enemy to bring the meal. He's going to cause your enemy to bless you. I can't tell not both say, God, I will love you, God. <laughs> oh, that's my sermon today. Just take a seat uh, and watch God work in your life. Take a seat uh, and watch him move the enemy out of your way. Uh, just take a seat. Uh, watch him push you in the place that you should be. Just take a seat. Uh, he'll make you the head and not the tail. Somebody shout, take a seat. He that dwelleth in the secret place shall abide in the shadow. No matter what your enemies around you do and say about you, don't worry about that. Just sit at the table. Oh, I pray, I pray, I pray right now, hallelujah, that my enemies stay alive. I want them. I don't pray that God kill him. I want you to stay alive so you can see me blessed. I want you to stay alive. I want you to be healthy so you can see what God does for a saint and not a fake saint. Oh, tell somebody, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Ooh, I'm getting happy all of my old stuff, sister. Woo, take a seat. Take a seat. Woo. You don't have to fight your battle. Let the Lord fight your battle. Just sit at the seat and be blessed. on the Lord's side and when you're on the Lord's side you don't have to worry about your fire because now nah, God knows how to put the fire out anybody know that God comes like a fire engine oh he comes making noise and drowning the enemy out but thanks be unto God somebody say he always he always you still standing he always you still moving he always you still breathing he always causes us to be triumphant somebody shout triumphant let the glory of the lord fill the temple let the glory
because you was faithful over a few things. And I said, I'm going to make you ruler over many. He's looking out. The anointing is in the room. Hallelujah. I need some of you, Bishop, if you don't mind. Those of you that know. I want you to come running out if you need God to, to look out for you for a situation you're going in. Come on, right quick, right quick. Run down here and say, I, I need you, God. I, I didn't took my hands out of it. Is it all right, Bishop? The glory of the Lord is in the house. Oh, God, you see, you see your servants. You see your man and woman servant. Oh, God, look out for him. Look out for him. Lord, I speak to the body of my dear sister. I speak healing. Now, now I look out for her, for the labor. Now, now I complete healing. Somebody shout total healing. Somebody shout total healing. Healing, healing from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Let the anointing of the Lord. That's it, Chelsea. Rub your hands on her legs. Uh, total healing. Total healing. By your stripes, Jesus, you said we are healed. Oh God, she praises you. She serves you. Oh God, take out every impurity of your spirits of God and replace and replenish wholeness and healing. In the name of Jesus, I speak to these souls that have come down here. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I speak, oh God, over every person that has ran down here and needs you, dear God. Hallelujah. It's a reason why you swayed us this way. God, I pray you know my heart is for me to serve. And this is the time I, I want to be a servant. And I'm praying that God will send you a change of life. That this will be a day that will change your life. That will change your life. God, you know what the prayer is. The scripture says, let your requests be made known. Many of you have been down on your knees praying, saying, Lord, where am I? But the word came forth today. God said, and he sent me here to tell you that he's looking out for you. He's looking out for you. God, you know the situations. These are your people. These are your children. God, I pray that you will make the way. God, I pray that you will put testimonies in this place. In the name of Jesus, that when they go back home, they're going to look at them and say, where you been? But that's because your glory has filled the house. And God, you said we can bring to you anything that we have. 
Oh God, I pray that you will change lives. Change lives. Change lives. I speak deliverance. There's a spirit of struggle. Some of y'all got in your heart and in your mind. I want to serve God to the fullest. Oh, but the enemy knows that there's so much inside of you. You got to know, sweetheart. You got to know that God, if God before you, he's more than the world against you. God is for you today. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my sister and my brother that when they leave this place, or our bishop has called on us, hallelujah, to have accept the glory of the Lord in the house. And it's the beginning. It started today. And God is letting us know I'm here. But we got to let things on the outside go and give God our total attention. Somebody say, you got our attention, God. And Father, we thank you for these that have come. And God, we know you to be the great physician that heal any hurt. You be the great problem solver. Hallelujah. That can remove that problem and that struggle in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that on this day, hallelujah, on this day, that they come to appreciate me, but God, it's all because of you. I pray that on this day will be a life-changing experience that they gonna tell somebody else because God did it for me. Just hold up your hands and say, Lord, on today, I accept you to come in my life, you to be in my house, you to be in my atmosphere, and everywhere I go. And I pray that everything, every distraction will be loose from me. Every struggle will be loose from me. But we will walk in the way of our purpose. Come on, clap your hands and go back to your seat believing that God is going to do these things. Tell somebody, when you go back to your seat, it is so. 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 Ah, so. believe. God was in the room. God was in the room. Hallelujah, God was in the room. God was in the room. Hallelujah, come on, just give God a worship. Oh God, we love you. Oh God, we adore you. Oh God, I promise you, saints of God, if you get a prayer life, God will hear you show up. And he will meet your need. Come on, let's clap our hands one more time. Thank you. I didn't mean I, I didn't mean to go that way, but the Lord just led me. I, I do apologize, but I don't apologize for the Spirit of God coming in the room. Hallelujah for that is the reason why we're most of all here. I just want to thank you. You know, when you start giving God thanks, you never know what's going to happen. And I just had a several flashbacks. So, uh, I'm sorry, but the flashbacks was driving me nuts. I had to break out. But uh, thank you for breaking out with me. Thank you for pulling out y'all's crazy praise and not leaving me out here by myself. But I'm looking for your miracle. I'm looking for your, I'm looking for a great future in your life. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, God is gonna do it. I want to help me give honor to our, the greatest leader, the greatest man of God, the, the greatest, I'm telling you, husband, come on, none other than the presiding bishop of, of the Church of God in Christ, the presiding prelate of North Central, come on, keep clapping, none other than my husband, my rock, my sweetheart, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, that's my friend, that's my partner. I love you, Bishop, so much. I love you, man of God. I love you. 
Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. I thank you, sir. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Thank you for standing still and watch God work. It's many times I was at home with my husband. This man got, got and gave him iron or steel, something in his back to stand through all of the fire he'd been through. That's what's attractive to me. Is the anointing on this man's life. For him to take so much. Oh, but God made him the head and not the a lot of things I want to say, but this my, you my family, you my family, but I just want to say thank you, Bishop, I just want to give him his accolades first, because he is our leader, <laughs> he is our leader, and I respect you, I respect you when you hear me say I give him high esteem, I say that because I watched his life. And I watched how he was a godly man, an exemplary, exemplary man of, of, of honor and a man of valor. I've watched him. I've watched him do good to his enemies. As the Bible said, I used to say, what's wrong with you? Why don't you do something? And he looks back at me and said, you watch God's got me. God's got me. And so many times I watch God perform miracles where the enemy had to come back in the face and apologize. And it, it ain't done. It's some more. I'm going to come back. It's some more. But I just want to say, honey, that I am so godly proud of you. You are one man of God that I, I prayed for, for my son to have an exemplary father so that he can pattern after a black, awesome man of God who loves the Lord and be successful at the same time. Such an example to our grandsons. And I, I, we can go down the generations. Such an example. And I thank you, honey. Thank you for saying yes to me. Hallelujah. And not those scallywags. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm still feeling the presence of the Lord. But honey, I really, I am honored that you said yes to me because I wouldn't be even in this position here at Greater Emmanuel if this man had not saw, not only my cuteness, but he saw, <laughs> but he saw the God in me, the sincerity that I have for God. That's where you gotta know, you gotta be attracted to the right thing. The other stuff will come, ladies. The other stuff will come. It's going to come around. You be attracted to that God that's within inside of him. And I don't want you to know I've been attracted every time you walk in the house. I'm saying, oh, that anointing looks good on him. <laughs> so cute, Sal. You're so cute. I'm just, I am really, and I mean this. I know, I know I'm this comical, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I am honored to call you my husband, honey. And I'm just so proud. And I was, I was rejoicing because I thought so much of what my husband went through and saw God just because of your prayers, Greater Emmanuel. I want to thank you for praying for your leader. Thank you. Thank you, Great Emmanuel. 
I'm going to move real quick, but I, I, I just want to tell you, Greater Emmanuel, I am so thankful for this connection. Everyone in here, every member of this church, I want you to know that I'm thankful that God connected us because you are loyal. Many have gone and many have come, but you stood the test with us. And I want to tell you, thank you. You did not have to do it. Thank you for being here at the services. And, and I just want to appreciate all of you, your love that you gave me today. I just want to thank um, the Women's Committee. Can you stand the Women's Committee? These ladies, wow. I want to tell you thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Cole getting the women together. I appreciate you all for working hard on your hard work you put in for me. Sister Vicki, thank you. You did an awesome job today. I just love each and every one of you. And Sister Tiffany, of course, she had to play, pray. she had to play, well, I'm going to say play because she, when we was in Brazil, she was doing agitancy. She was doing our tourists. She was uh, our interpreter. She was everything. You, you gotta, you, you just gotta appreciate people. You, I didn't know that this girl had so much in her until we went to Brazil. And I just want to tell you, I love you and thank you because she just went on a trip with us. So thank you, Sister Tiffany. Aunt Ella, I love you. Um, I can just call all your names. And these ladies who work with me, Sister McTaw, thank you, Sister Mildred Palmer, your hard work that you put in for the inaugural. Oh, my goodness. Worked hard along with the team. And my girl, Terrence, that's, my, that's our thing. Terrence, I love you so much. All the loves and gifts that you give. Dr. Rochelle Lampkin, oh, my goodness, woman, anointed woman of God. Thank you so much. I love you for all the hard work you put in jurisdiction local church thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you sisters uh, you got a new name it's not jones no more that's my girl owens that's my girl this young lady i watch her be in rehearsal when it ain't but sometimes three there and this young lady shows up I mean, you show up, you come to the Women's Committee every time I call you. Thank you so much for all your, your loyalty to the ministry. Chelsea, you dressed me up yesterday at my event. I love you so very much. Come on, give it up for these beautiful ladies. I love you so much gifts and talents. I just thank you. Dr. Cole, I want you to know, sis, I appreciate you. We don't take you for granted. They pulling at you all over the world. Some of them probably want you to be co-pastor somewhere else. I know somebody told me they was trying to get her to be co-pastor, Bishop. But, but I'm telling on them. But my sister stuck to the task. She stuck with her family. And I thank you so much. Give it up for Dr. Cole. For the hard work you put in. I thank you so much, sis. I mean, she was calling me. You all right? I want to make sure you good. You, you, uh, li listen now. Don't give up. No, don't you do that. Uh-uh, don't do that. You can't do that. It's too many women. Mm-mm. Depending on you, you can't now. But she called me, pray for me. Thank you for being such a woman of excellence and a woman that I, I wanted to be like when I was a little girl. Thank you. I thank God that mama, she did, oh God, I just, oh, I wish she could just see what God has done. But it's because of her prayers. But she knew, as, as you said, Mother Olivia, you said it right when you said, my mom, she prayed for us to be here. She prepared us for this day. And thank you that I could look after my sisters and see how exemplary and women of grace and class. Thank you so much for being exempt from a younger sister to the big sister. But now I'm the big sister because I'm a leader now. <laughs> I can tell him what to do. 
but I love you so much. Give it up for evangelist Dr. Cole. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it moving keep it moving. Oh my goodness. And then all of the, uh, Sister Karen Shadrick, is she in the house? Sister Karen? Well, God bless Sister Karen. Oh, yes, Karen, stand. Please stand. Karen Shadrick, she has been, she, for, for years, for the last several, last years, all the years past, she has been um, um, coordinating the uh, my appreciation day I want to tell you thank you thank you Karen for the hard work you put in to make me happy on all those days in the past I appreciate you what you do for the ministry don't be trying to sit down yet <laughs> thank you sis I love you so much give it up for Karen thank you so very much oh my goodness it's just I'm almost finished y'all I'm gonna move right along real quick um, uh, Superintendent Adams, Superintendent Adams, is he here? Thank you, Superintendent Adams, he's probably in the office. But know that, I know you're listening, I love you, and don't you tell no more stories, but I appreciate you <laughs> for all of the hard work you put in the ministry. I love you, sir. And to all my mothers, wave your hand, mothers. I love you so much, I love you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, my adjutants, stand up, Courtney, Nikenta, Kim, stand up, please stand up. These ladies, they tie my shoes, they, they just, just go do everything for me. I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. I love you so very much. Uh, Tiffany, stand up. Stand up, Tiffany. Tiffany, oh my goodness. Tiffany, does, she will, I'll call Tiffany and I'll say, I'll get mad at her one day and I'll fuss at her. She's like a daughter to me. Thank you for sharing Niecy, Niece, her mama back there. <laughs> Thank you for sharing her. She's a sweetheart. I'll get mad at Tiffany and I'll call her another day and I said, girl, I love you. Now let's just move on. And I need you to go to the store and pick me up some candy. And she'll go right and do it for me. A heart to serve. Thank you. Thank you. I do from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. You come through when don't nobody else do. So thank you so very much. I love you. And then I have uh, Pastor Hall and Pastor Kaim but Nolan, would you stand? Oh my goodness. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, my superintendent. And we can't forget, I can't forget y'all. Y'all st still part of us. Can't let you go. Can't let you go. I love y'all so much. Thank you for coming. And thank you for sharing your beautiful wives. Oh, my, letting them to just hang out with me. Thank you, Sister Tasha, Sister Sheila. God bless you. All the first ladies, would you please land of, jurors, of North Central Jurisdiction, those of you that have stayed, would you please stand? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sister Williams, Sister Nolan, Sister uh, Hall, Sister, um, Sister Moore, Sister Wyatt, Sister Payne, and Sister Gaines. You know I know y'all. And Sister... Um, uh, uh, Portia Riley, you know I know you, girl. I know you. Thank you. We had a glorious day yesterday. Oh, Lady Renee, Nay, you know I ain't gonna forget you <laughs> with your cute self. <laughs> Thank you. This praying woman, listen, she will get in your ear. Excuse me, Bishop. I don't mean to cross you, but I, I want I I want to tell you, ma'am, you have come through. When we didn't even talk, I haven't even said a word to you, but you'll call me and you'll speak a word of prayer or you'll speak into my life. I never forget it. Thank you so much for covering us even before we got here. Thank you, and I appreciate you. Come on, give it up for Lady Renee. I love you. What can I say about my supervisor? Yes, yes. This woman, I love this woman of God. Oh, I'm so happy. Listen, I want you to know I love our supervisors. I love her because she loves the Lord, number one, and she don't mind letting just one little arm show, just a little bit. 
The ladies know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank you, supervisor. And she yet preaches holiness. Yes, you still teach us holiness. And I thank you. You have certainly, certainly been a great representation for Bishop and I. Thank you so very much for being here today. I love you so very much. And me see, okay, I, I'm almost done. Um, I'm, I don't want to lie in church, but I'm maybe about a half done. Okay, Mother Walton, she left. Tell her I love her. And Mother, um, Mother um, Lady Whitehead was here. Tell her I love her. And then, oh, my president, I thought you were left. I love you. Thank you, lady. Listen, Shekinah, stand up. Y'all don't know. This jewel right here birth this jewel over here and we want to thank you for sharing your daughter with you have done well you and your husband bishop whitehead thank you so much thank you for allowing her to come over here and be with us and all you do to undergird me thank you lady whitehead for being here today i love you so very much okay let me see who else okay Yes, I appreciate all of you. I see you. Um, what's my man back there? You know who I'm talking about. That's so. I'm getting ready to say Wes. So. So. Thank you, man. You helped that band quit, that inaugural for my husband. Come on, let's give it up. Y'all, these behind, these behind the scene people. They work hard, and I just want to appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Pastor Ethan, my brother, I love you. Woo! First Lady Gwenda, go ahead, girl. Girl, you better wear your hat wonderful. I'm so proud of you, Pastor and First Lady of Greater Emmanuel. I mean, they can't. Oh, excuse me, Greater One. Greater Mitchell. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Greater Mitchell, I am glad. Thank you for coming, brother and sister. I love you so much. These amazing people, I'm almost done. These amazing people that was on program today, those dancers were incredible, weren't they? When I tell you uh, Deacon and, and Deacon Cobb, and his wife. Are you still here? Just know that I love you. Thank you for those kind words you gave. And, and Sister Claudette, Claudette, you're going to be Claudette. You'll be Claudette today. You'll be Don when we're out to eat. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. So much inside of you. Thank you for those beautiful words. Brother Stacy, this man, stand up, Stacy. Listen. Listen, let me tell you, where's Stacy at? Listen, see, in ministry, still, he's service. This is a servant to his heart. When I tell you I appreciate you, sir, I have watched you come in here when sometimes it was just fire everywhere. But you came in here with your uh, amazing, humble self and went to work. Thank you. Thank you, and I pray that God's favor be all over you, that you will become exemplary to these black men out here. I speak it right now. In Jesus' name, I speak favor because he's so faithful. Come on, Greater Emmanuel. Let's appreciate this young man. Thank you. Look at the media team. Media team, stand up. Where's the media? Wave your hand, media team. All y'all too. I mean, y'all just stand in the gap. Y'all stick together. Don't let nothing come in front of y'all because you all are carrying us. You are the generation that is literally, I mean, preparing us for this day, this new day. I mean, I still want to go back to my flip phone, but because of you all, <laughs> I appreciate you all because you're brilliant, so thank you, and thank you for being a part of Greater Emmanuel. I love you, Stacy. 
I love you so much. And thank you to your amazing mother. Give it up for the mother. Got to give it up for you, for what you instilled in them. Thank you for being a great mother. And to, of course, Serenity, my baby, you faithful too. I love you so much for the beautiful words you gave, you and your family, your mom. But I know this was you. Well, when your mom talked and your brother talked, we're going to love on them. But this is you today. I thank you so much. And I, I, I just, I, you know, you know, I got you. I, I got you. Oh, you know, some old candy, okay? I love you, Serenity. Thank you, sweetheart. And then, um, let's see, did I miss anybody, honey? All of those, the video presentation. I have to give accolades to our um, president, our general supervisor of the Church of God in Christ, none other than the beautiful, the amazing mother, Barbara McCool Lewis. Come on, go. Y'all, she watching. Come on, give her some love. I love you, mother. Mwah. Thank you for those beautiful words you gave. I love you so much. And thank you for being a woman that I can sit by and talk to. And you hear my, you know, my cries and calls. I love you, mother, so very much. And, of course, uh, First Lady Hines, she gave hers. Um, Angie Rivers, thank you. Know that we love Mother Rivers. And Judge Lanice Weeks, wow, that was different. And the 36th District, District Court. Thank you so very much. Are you here? You left, but know that I love you. I hope you're watching online, too, after you left church early. <laughs> I love you. That's my sister. Thank you so much for your kindness. The, um, of course, the Honorable Yancey and the President Evangel. Okay, yeah. Oh, Evangelist um, Vanessa Gatlin, the Second Assistant General Supervisor of the Church of God in Christ Women's Department, Department of Women, Lady Yolanda Bryant, that's my president as well, over the wives, the general, the, um, the bishop's wives, and then the general board members wives, Lady Hine and Lady Macklin, Lady Pearl, Lady, of course, uh, Lady Wooten. God bless you, Sandra Jones, Mother Diane Bogan, Ricky Dillard, that's my big brother. I love him. And Jonathan Nelson, Lady Carolyn Galbraith, and Lady Vanessa Macklin, I said her. And the, the amazing, gifted woman of God, Erica Campbell. I'm telling you, y'all made me so happy today. Y'all got the water out of me. You did your mission. I got some tears out. So... Thank you, everything that you have done. I appreciate you. I love you. And thank you for all you have done, your prayers, your love, your gifts. Thank you for putting up with me. I promise you I won't let you down, but I am here to serve. God bless you. I love you. <laughs> Kiara, will you please stand? These are these, oh, these, this girl here, she runs me now. That's my mama. Oh, I want to tell you that I want to thank you, Kiara, for all the hard work you put in the ministry to make your mom and dad proud. Just you, a woman, you have grown to be a woman of grace and excellence, amazing wife. Wow, all of what we pray for, and look, girl, you walking right into purpose, and I thank you so very much. Beautiful, beautiful lady. God bless you. J. Drew, stand up. God bless you, J. Drew. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> Jordan. Is that you? Jordan, stand up, Jordan. I love you, my son. That's my son-in-law. I love you. And they are doing amazing work over here, Grady Emanuel with the youth department. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad that God gave my daughter a man of valor as well and love God. That's right. Grab her. Grab her. I mean, you better grab her. I love y'all so much. J. Drew, listen. That's my baby here. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. I love you, son. I appreciate it. I'm proud of you. 
when you came up in that office, honey, we had a conversation today. Oh, don't say nothing. Okay. I'm just proud of you. I, I don't want to mess it up because God got you somewhere. So, yes, I want you to know I, I thank you, son. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I will give him his Kool-Aid first before his daddy. But I want you to know that I appreciate you, that you, you're doing an amazing job with the music ministry. I'm proud of you. I want you to know that I'm proud of you for, and uh, of course, um, my brother, my brother, Brother Palmer and Brother Derek, you all believe in my son, and I thank you for even just undergirding him. And you all, of course, y'all legends in this music industry, but I thank you for entrusting in him the gift that he has. Thank you so very much. I love you. J. Drew, you're doing an amazing job. Don't mess up all of this now. Do right. I want you to get that right that you're supposed to be getting. But now, I, but, but I want you to know that you are my heart. It's all good. He's such a, I, when you have good children, you got to be thankful. I could be worried. I could be somewhere worried. Lord, pulling my hair out. I, I could, we could, my, my husband and I, we could be somewhere worried. But God gave us children that they watched us live and know how serious we are about the church. Y'all saw that clip when I told J. Drew, don't talk about my church. And look at him now. He's working in the church. Because he know he has respect for God and the God on our life. I love you. I'm proud of you, son. I love you so much. And a great father you've been. Callie, J. Drew, come here, Jacob. Right quick, right quick. Run, run. I'm so proud of y'all. These are my grandbabies. And, you know, Jacob, he's, he's famous. He went to the convention and... um. They said, oh, your grandson, I got to meet him. I want to get his autograph. I said, you can got famous, young man. Then they see little Callie saying, oh, I got to get her autograph too. I'm so proud of my grandchildren because J Jacob, is, is he's he going to be a little, mm, yeah, he's on his way. <laughs> proud of you because he reminds me of his grandfather. He got a little ways and movements and I say yeah and even his great great grandfather I see it in him and I want you all to know that I love you and I'm getting ready to end it but everybody keep requesting you to just do a line of something can you just do I love I love let me see wait I gotta get your key mm, I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I worship and adore you Let's try it. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, yeah. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, Lord, I love you, yes, I do. Oh, I love you, I love you, yes, I do. Oh, Lord, I love you, yes, I do. Oh, Lord, I love you, yes, I do. Oh, oh, oh. With all of, all of my heart, love you with all of, all of my heart. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Whoa.
can love me. Come on, give it up for Jacob. You gonna say? Come on. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. All right, give it up for Cali. I love you, Greater Emmanuel. Thank you so much. I promise you I'm done. Come on, Bishop. <laughs> I have one young lady that she, she'll also, I mean, drive miles, literally, to take care of me. And she has been taking care of me for the last, I think it's five years. That's you, Shamika. Stand up. <laughs> Come on, give it up. She's my assistant in my office. Shamika, I love you so very much. I want to thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for all of the calls you take for me. I don't take you for granted as well. Please know from the bottom of my heart, I love you. And you wouldn't be the person that you really are without God being in your life. So thank you. And you wouldn't be the person that you are without your husband sitting next to you. <laughs> you knew I was going to go there. You know I love you. That's my godson. Stand up. Come on, stand up. I love you so much. Both of you. <laughs> I appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. All right, let's give our first lady a hand. May God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. We certainly appreciate what God is doing uh, in our midst on tonight. It, what, a, what a powerful service we had. Amen. And, and so we're getting ready. I said on today, we're, we're going to rebound and we're going to get back to where God would have us to be. I'm so thankful for my lovely wife and I praise God for she is a fantastic wife, mother, first lady, and I'm so thankful for her. And I'm not going to go through a whole lot because the hour is very late. And so you can stand. But I got a lot to talk about. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to be able to have a, my dear wife and, of course, to have this wonderful ministry here at Greater Emmanuel. May God bless each of you. Thank you for loving my wife, and thank you for praying for us. Uh, now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. And let all the people of the Lord say it together, Amen. God bless you. I love everybody.